In this video, we're going to go over how to solve the absolute value inequalities involving the greater than symbol. We're going to do it conceptually and not through memorization techniques, as always. Let's dive into it. So we're given solve and graph each. So if you haven't already done it, you should check out the video on less than inequality symbols because I think that's a nice place to start and then move on to these videos. But if you have already, let's dive into this. So it says that the distance that x is from zero, that's what the absolute value means, the distance that x is from zero is more than or equal to nine. Okay, what does that mean? Well, again, I like to visualize graphing, and I say again, because I do this in other inequality absolute value videos, well, the one other one that I have, and that means that I'm visualizing. I'm saying the distance that x is from zero is more than or equal to nine. Hmm. Well, that means that we're at nine or farther away. At negative nine or farther away, right? If we're a distance from zero of nine or more, that means that we're at either negative nine or positive nine, and then extending out farther from zero in either directions. Hmm, that's, that's an or inequality. So if you take a look at this and just now map this out, just like a compound inequality, we see that we have x is less than or equal to negative nine, or x is greater than or equal to nine. Hey, we're done, sweet. I mean, check your answer. Let's pick a number less than or equal to negative nine, negative 11. The absolute value of negative 11 is 11, and that's more than or equal to nine. 15 would be a number more than nine. 15, the absolute value of which is 15, which is more than nine. Sweet, let's keep going with this idea. So here we've got the absolute value of u plus 4.6 is greater than 12. That means that u plus 4.6, all of that, is a distance of more than 12 away from zero. So again, I visualize it or draw out the actual graph. And if we're a distance of more than 12 away, that's 12 in either direction. So it's an open circle to the left, open circle to the right. And I'm shading it above that just so you can see it clearly. So that means that u plus 4.6 fits this graph's inequality. It's either more than 12 this way or less than negative 12 that way. So we're gonna write that down. u plus 4.6 is less than negative 12 or u plus 4.6 is greater than positive 12. That would be a distance of more than 12. And that's it, peeps, and I'm just gonna pause for a second and go over what you could be doing with your noggin. When you're practicing these problems, Get to this stage before you solve it out. So do five or six problems and just get to translating from the inequality stage to the compound inequality stage. I think that that will make these problems easier because then you're working on the harder part or the new part. I shouldn't say the harder, the new part. So now all we have left to do is solve out these inequalities like usual. I'm gonna subtract 4.6 from both sides. That cancels out the 4.6. We're left with u is less than negative 12 minus 4.6 is negative 16.6. Or, well, we're gonna subtract 4.6 from both sides here. 12 minus 4.6, hmm, what's that gonna be? I think it's gonna be 7.4. So u is greater than 7.4. So those are the two boundaries that we have. And if you plug in numbers to the left of 17 point, or sorry, 16.6, or to the right of 7.4, you will get correct values that work in here. So like negative 20. Negative 20 plus 4.6, that's gonna be negative 15.4, the absolute value of which is 15.4, which is more than 12. So again, the key here is the distance that this is from zero is more than 12. That's 12 to the left, 12 to the right and beyond them. And once we have the graph, we translate into inequalities. Nice. Last problem. So as always with absolute values, you want to isolate them. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it's really just like four times a variable minus one. So I'm going to add one to both sides. I'm left with four times the absolute value of x is greater than or equal to eight. Again, I want to isolate the absolute value. So I divide both sides by four. And now I'm left with the absolute value of x is greater than or equal to two. And well, that's my absolute value, q. So I look at that and think, hmm, this is the distance from zero, right? So x, the distance that x is from zero is more than or equal to two. Again, either visualize it or draw out the graph to be certain. So here's zero. 
Here's two and here's negative two. So x is to the left or to the right. So x, its distance is less than or equal to, sorry, its distance is more than or equal to two. So it will be less than or equal to negative two because those would be all the numbers whose distances are farther from zero than two is, right? And then distance from zero is more than or equal to two also fits all the numbers to the right or including two. So now we just write out the inequality based on the graph. So x is less than or equal to negative two or x is greater than or equal to two. So if you take a look at this, it makes a lot of sense graphically going from here to here if you've got your compound inequalities down. Again, the moral of the story is, read it as the distance that a variable or that the expression is from zero, graph it out, and you'll be leading yourself to the proper inequality that you need to solve. A lot of people will teach this as, well, greater is greater, and so that way you know that you have an or inequality, there's no math in that once again. So if you memorize it that way, I'm begging you to please understand it this way so that you can, well, build on top of your skills rather than just memorize one more thing. All right, peeps, I hope that was fun for you. I enjoy doing it as always. See you in the next video.